Hello guys, how's it going? So today I want to bring y'all the mode network and a whole basically airdrop guide, kind of like a, a follow through, I guess, as you could say, but let's just get right into it. So mode network's kind of just like another L2. Um, if you want more information about it, I'll leave uh, like an article in the, um, in the description, but I'm just gonna give you guys the walkthrough, so let's just get right into it. So what we're basically gonna be doing is we're just gonna be following this Interact campaign, and uh, also this link will be down in the description. And we're gonna actually start out on ETH mainnet because we, uh, as you can see, our first task here is to bridge to mode. But before that, um, make sure you link your EVM wallet, so your MetaMask, your twitter and your discord on this personally i'm doing this on three wallets uh three of my like higher quality wallets might do a fourth or fifth and i also recommend doing this when uh gui is low and right now i think it's only like 16 so the bridging itself is going to be relatively cheap and hopefully all other transactions on the mo network and since it's an l2 it's relatively cheap just like other l2 so let's just get right into it so after you uh do these easy tasks with the uh, retweeting and discord you're gonna go over here you're gonna bridge over to mode so then you'll get right onto this task after and you're just gonna run up these tweets and then you're gonna press this link now this is gonna bring you to the main mode network site and all you gotta do here is you gotta connect your twitter and your wallet after you connect your wallet and connect your Twitter, it'll show you your pre amount of points that you have just uh, for doing like other applications in crypto. So for example, like DeFi NFTs, whatever, if you've been in crypto for a while on this wallet, I only have four on another wallet. I have like 700 points. This one only has 130. But the main thing we want to do here is we want to qualify for this which is to bridge at least thirty dollars worth of eth to the uh mode network so right here all you're gonna do is see the the bridge fee is only six dollars and that's honestly not bad at all for uh for your ethereum network so we're just gonna bridge that over i'm gonna just do probably 0.08 here we go processing a seven dollar gas fee not bad at all now it may take a second for your funds to actually get there but for me it was honestly really quick it only took about two minutes so now that we have our funds on the mode network we should be able to verify this quest and after you verify your quest it'll like pop up some things and you also have the chance to get some free funds out of this too i know someone one of my friends actually got this he was super lucky but it's just an extra bonus but now that we've done this full task as you can see we've completed the whole task we could exit out there and we could oh not verify wait oh you only need to complete one task okay so i was doing it wrong but i accidentally completed the uh, all five tasks, but you only need to complete one to actually get this Sentinels NFT, but we're gonna be going through the other ones as well. So over here, now you can just get your NFT. Now you could just stop here, but I personally recommend doing a multitude of those tasks, like virtually all five of those tasks that were here uh, to begin with. And if you don't, if you can't see it, you could press that mode right here to get onto their main quest. And all these ones that say ending in seven days were part of that. We're part of that. So we're just going to go. This is uh, right here. Minting your uh, mode domain is actually probably going to be the most costly thing that you do on the mode network since it's like $5 for uh a domain name but that's like that's the highest amount of money you'll spend on this campaign plus obviously the fees too so we're just gonna get a domain name right here yeah and as you could see here the domain name is exactly five USD 
and our gas is going to be yeah probably pretty high on this since it's a domain so this is the most costly thing by far now after that do the same thing with the chest here see if you get any rewards nothing there then you're basically just going to go through all of these i'm just going to go over in depth like on the actual exchanges and not bore you with like the other stuff so it says here swap at least ten dollars worth of eth to usdt on the kim exchange and this exchange uh will give you double points right now for the mo network airdrop just uh just a fyi there they do say that it is double points currently for the kim exchange so i'll show you how to easily so you easily just do a swap here just do like what 107 basically just going to generate some volume here that's uh the main thing generate volume gen generate some transactions right uh so we qualify for more points and possibly get a bigger airdrop too and we also are completing these quests too and the reason we want to be doing these quests is because um projects like manta for example they distributed a fair amount of their airdrop i believe 50 percent of it was to these early adopters that would actually use like galaxy campaigns or whatnot in like the different the different uh dApps in the manta ecosystem and i personally did like four galaxy quests and got like 300 dollars for it so it's like uh, but that was for manta so it's like i'm just gonna try to replicate that on here right and sometimes you do get a task verification fail that does sometimes happen right but now we're just gonna go and deposit some liquidity into a pool here it says um worth of eth usdt so let's go to eth usdt here create a position all right do we have to wrap our eth yeah okay so we're gonna go back to swap also another thing i would like to point out is notice how many people are actually doing this so the sentinel nft obviously it's like forty five thousand. so is the bridging because it's the easiest thing but these other tasks only have roughly like 25k average um people completing them so that yeah, honestly is pretty bullish to me because that is roughly the same amount i did or that was around for manta and that's just another indication that this could possibly be under farmed and you could get decently rewarded for this. Now, the reason I'm swapping some of this is because I actually do need some uh, wrapped ETH. So let's go back to our pool here and we're going to select ETH and USDT and we want at least 10 liquidity. So, oh, that's ETH, okay. Um, we're gonna do 10 here, we're gonna approve once it approves you want to add that liquidity and after you do that you're just going to want to verify it on here and do the twitter thing and we're just going to go on to the next task the next uh dap we have here is called standard and personally i'm honestly not the biggest fan of standard because they're um their campaign actually went down a little bit on interact here and the limit and buy orders are a little bit funky and i'll i'll show you what i mean here so we're just going to want to connect our wallet pretty simple there and then it's going to bring you to this page and what we need to do is we've got to create a market buy and sell order and a limit buy and sell order from eth to usdt right so how you do that is right here you could put either market or limit order you're going to need some usdt and you're also going to need some eth for this oh and by the way for the kim exchange if you want once you verify your task you could immediately just move that position out and just confirm the task if you if you would like to but i do recommend leaving some funds in mo network at least because what we just saw with the starknet airdrop you needed at least 0.005 eth to be eligible for the airdrop 
but I do doubt that that will happen on Moat Network. But if you're an organic user already, you're most likely going to be leaving 20 bucks in every chain just for gas at least. So that shouldn't be too much of a problem. But back to standard here. So we're going to want to do a market order here. And each order needs to be at least $10. So I recommend doing that just slightly above for each. And then you obviously you press, sorry, you press review order here and it shows exactly how much I'll receive. You confirm that market order. And as you could see here, let's see, gas. So gas isn't bad. It's similar to other L2s like Arbitrum where an approved transaction is like 20 cents. And this is, this is probably gonna be what, roughly like 50 cents. Okay, so I guess the fees are higher on Mo Network, probably because the traffic is higher. Even though the GUI is only 0.91, it is a little bit more ex expensive. But I personally believe this is more bullish because the amount of Sybil uh, wallets will be a lot lower for that reason alone. And now I'm going to show you how to do a limit order. So place limit order and then just do whatever uh, the current price is. So your order will confirm automatically. And sometimes it won't let you confirm buy. All you do is just press the X and you just press, sorry, you just press the X and you re and you try to do the order again. That's why I'm not really a big fan of this. It's a bit laggy. And as you saw there, the market order is a lot more expensive than the limit order in terms of gas prices, but since we have to do all four, it really doesn't matter. Now, what we want to do now is we want to essentially do the exact same thing, but in reverse. This is also another reason why I don't like standard is because look at this spread. Spread should not be 0.85% on Ethereum to USDT ever. It should never be that high. But... For the sake of the of the mode airdrop, I'm just gonna keep my transactions low so I don't lose too many funds. But it is what it is. Also, this does generate uh, more volume, and you also interact with different contracts. And also, I recommend using the mode network at least once a week until they airdrop, just so you get uh, weekly transactions done and your wallet isn't like idle and not even doing anything, right? So then we'll just do this here. After we're done with those transactions, we're just gonna wanna verify again and claim our stuff. All right, and now we are onto our final task for the mode campaign here. And this one's super simple. It's very similar to how the Kim exchange is, where you only have to swap $10 worth of ETH um, on Ionic, or sorry, supply at least $10 of ETH on Ionic and USDC. So make sure you just have some more ETH and USDC, or USDT, sorry. But you will need to wrap some of your ETH as they don't have just an ETH pool, they have a, a wrapped Ethereum pool. So they, but they do have a nice button here that just lets you wrap it, which is nice, okay lovely how we uh how we see that on these new protocols the page just absolutely dies no problem okay so we're just gonna what wrap like 0.01 here after we wrap our eth we're gonna want to press press sorry i can't speak we want to press supply slash withdraw so over here i'm going to put in 0.01 and we're gonna supply that Another thing to know is the gas fees on the supply and withdrawal are about like $2 to 250 each. So just keep that in mind. And you will be most likely spending around like $20 in fees almost doing this whole campaign. But the good thing about that is, is that protocols actually look into this. And oftentimes, more oftentimes than not, they reward the users that spend more money on fees on their platform just because it uh, it just shows more loyalty to the platform and these airdrop protocols ideally unlike scam net 
I I I personally got completely scammed by by Starknet. I had all the criteria, still didn't get qualified. Not sure how that's even possible. I was interacting with Starknet from over a year ago, but that's besides the point. In crypto, we just gotta move on and uh, go to the next thing. So I only had one wallet in there, so it really wasn't that big of a deal. Just gotta just gotta move on to the next thing. So after we supply that, we'll just go back here confirm all of our all of our tasks tasks sorry and uh that's pretty much it for the mode on airdrop um guide i guess i mean there are a couple other things on the mode main page that you could do that has 2x points currently right now on that main page when we uh when we bridged over so if you want you could look on that page and see if you want to keep interacting with mode um, DAP, sorry, it'll just uh, further strengthen however many points you have for a bigger airdrop qualification. Personally, what I'm going to be doing is every day I'm going to be doing uh, certain trades or transactions on my wallets, all three of them, and I'm just going to steadily do that until they airdrop. And uh, if you guys have any questions, please let me know in the description. I do try to answer to every comment and I have so far and I just appreciate all the support and for you guys watching my videos it does mean a lot to me so I really appreciate that thank you guys and have a good one and stay safe airdrop farming always have pocket universe always have um, wallet guard on just to make sure uh, your security is in check but have a good one guys